Okay, welcome back to Session Report, the show that takes you to the gamer's table to share in the surprises that come out during play, and we're playing uh, Paperback, and we are, uh, this this one's for the story lovers out there, because, uh, as you might have seen if you watched my previous video, we lost the game according to the rules of the game that we were playing at the moment. I would not have been able to purchase any of these cards using Mr. Honeycutt's variant. Uh, Mr. Honeycutt, of course, his variant was that each of these cubes is worth, uh, increases the cost of the card by one more cent. I even had diluted that a little bit and said two cubes is needed to increase the cost of the card. And actually with those rules, I probably could have, if I'd been playing with those rules from the beginning, I probably could have pulled out a win and or at least survived um, by purchasing maybe something that had three cubes on it for a cost of six, um, and and I could have been able to succeed there. But we're just going to go back um, for the rest of the game. We're going to play with a standard cooperative variant, which basically means that each of these um, it doesn't do anything. Basically, I just need to make sure I don't get five of them accumulated on one card. So each of these fame cards down here is only costing five cents, which I can afford with my hand currently. So let's see uh, what we can do. We've got F, N, L. Um, so we could easily make final, final. I think that's a really thematic word for a horror story, which is basically what we're doing. It's supposed to be paranormal. Um, so uh, it appeared to be some sort of a silver um, compound. Uh, it was impossible to, there was some sort of uh, engraving, but it was impossible to make out exactly what's, what it was uh, as this thing was covered in gore uh, that had accumulated. Uh, perhaps it was something that the victim had been wearing and had gotten somehow tangled in her flesh in her final moments. So we've got a cost or a score of four, five, six. Fan freaking tastic. I'm gonna purchase one of these, otherwise I lose the game. So we're gonna purchase this, the toughest lesson of all. And you know what, I didn't uh, show you these last time I purchased one. I was uh, kind of hoping to do that. So uh, I think it ended up in my deck already. But let's look at this card here. These are really fun. The toughest lesson of all. She taught him to love. He taught her to live. By Paige Turner. It's fun. All right, so we purchased this. We have forestalled victory because now I can start placing cubes up here and get a little bit extra time. So she had, uh, it had somehow gotten tangled up in her flesh in her final moments. I don't have any more sense. So we're gonna go one, two, and we'll continue from there on our next turn. And it seems like my deck are, is very, very small. A shuffling every couple of turns, which I guess is what you do in deck building games. Um, because I'm only able to really to afford one or two cards every round. Let me see. Only two wild cards, but I got that F back, so I can buy another really expensive card next turn. All right, so let's see what we've got going on over here. Wow, we look at that. Two, three, four, five, six, potentially seven points. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, potentially eight letters. So I could get this other common if um, I'm able to use all of these letters. So let's take a look. I N E S S L R. So lines uh let me see something in s uh finesse is that how you spell finesse or are there are two n's in there finesse finesse i'm not sure um that could be a good word uh, as if I can use both of these, I'll be happy. Um, but again, I mean, just lines is actually the same as that finesse word. Um, s 
Zerlines? Ooh. Something leanness. Ruliness. You know, I've heard of unruliness. Is there such a thing as ruliness? Rolliness. Rallyness. If only this were an H. Earliness. Uh, Arliness. Orliness. Mm. Wow. I'm very close to, to getting something out of this. I can almost make surliness. But I can't. Um, and I can't quite figure anything else out. So I think I'm going to go ahead with my first instinct, which was lines, which gives me five uh, points, which is enough to purchase another one of these that have been accumulating all of these uh, tokens. So let's go ahead with lines. Um, let me see. What can I think? What can I do with lines? Uh, the coroner. Uh, let's give the coroner a name. Let's call the coroner uh, doctor. Coroner's doctors. I think they generally are, right? They're some sort of medical professional. Um, doctor. Um, Oh, Honeycutt. Dr. Honeycutt. A nice tribute to our good uh, variant maker. So Dr. Honeycutt um, took the silver pin uh, and rinsed it out under the sink. Um, it took a little bit of prying, but he was able to get all the gore out of it eventually. Um, and he noticed, or he was he revealed, a, uh, a, sh a very intricate shape with many swirling lines almost runic in nature all right that's pretty good so it's only a five letter word it's only worth five points i'm going to go ahead and grab another fame card so we don't have to worry about the timer for a little few more rounds um and uh that'll be the turn i think all right one two three four five I didn't have any special powers, no. Okay, so we're going back over to the Ghost Rider. Um, and she's got an F again, uh, two S's. So if, uh, let's see, Floss, she could spell Floss. Wow, this could be a very high scoring word, my goodness. Uh, four points here. Um, F L O S S floss and it I can get plus one cent per wild in the word. So uh four, five, six, seven, possibly eight points, which means I could go ahead and just grab one of these. Um because that's an eight cent cost. Wow, that I think that's probably what I should do, although these eight cent cards over here could be very useful for me in a future round as well. And when's the next time I'm going to be able to get eight cents on a hand? Uh, I mean, that's tough. Um, I do have several rounds before I need to purchase one of these because I actually uh, it's better for the game in the in the original cooperative variant for you to wait a little bit and and start building up these cubes and potentially get four cubes on the card before you uh, remove it. Let me see. Um, well, let's think about what we're gonna do with the floss. Um, so we were talking about how Dr. Honeycutt was trying to reveal this shape. So it was still a little bit um, difficult to make out. Um, ignoring the cold corpse on the examining table, uh, he went over to his special tools and got out the, the floss and began to gently floss uh, the creases of this pin until he had gotten all of the gore out of it and could now clearly see the shape. So we've got very, very nice word, uh, floss, eight points. I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, let's see. Oh, I think I want to grab the D. Um, I could grab this X, 
but my gosh, how am I going to use X's? Of course, I could just do a word like fox, and that's going to get me nine plus one card in my next hand. Wow, that's pretty good. But I could also get the D, and that's going to let me automatically just gain a card that costs up to six cents, so I could be grabbing these six cent cards in over multiple rounds. And as we are fairly still early in the game, I think I'm going to hold off on this eight cent card, even though I could get it. And we're going to grab this letter D. Gain a card costing up to six cents. So we're going to do that instead. And we're going to draw more cards. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't get to draw an extra card because there were more than four letters in the word floss. And again, I have not, I don't think I've ever triggered my Ghost Rider ability in this entire game. Tosser? Maybe. Okay. And let's look over here for our stuck key player. Oh, and since I didn't purchase one of these, I have to put a cube out. We're going to go ahead and put it here because I know I'm going to purchase this card soon. Um, let's go ahead and make this a little bit harder um, because this is game is going to be fairly easy if we play with just a standard difficulty variant. So let's say that I have to spread out the cubes as evenly as possible on existing cards. In other words, I can't just load four cubes onto here and then purchase it um, without putting any cubes here. So let's say I have to spread out the cubes as evenly as possible on the available cards. Um, there's also a variant that I can think of just off the top of my head where you have to roll a die or find some other random way of determining which cards get cubes. And that could be even more difficult um, because then we would have the chance of, even though I've got four cubes here, I am safe as long as I have control over where the cubes go. But if I don't, then I could get that card snatched up right away. I think that would be the, the most difficult variant. So actually, let's go grab a D6 and we'll play with that and we'll see how that variant goes. We're just cooking up variants as we play today. Okay, so we've got our wonderful one player guild, six sided die, together we game alone. Um, and we're gonna try this um, and I might immediately lose the game and I'll we'll decide, well, I won't play with this variant anymore because I don't want to lose. But let's see, we'll just call this one, two, three, four, five, six and see what we can roll. And this could be kind of dangerous, but you know what? That's, we're living dangerously. It was a one. Okay, so we're gonna put a cube out on here. But now that I know I'm playing with this variant, I need to purchase this last five cent card immediately. So let's see what kind of uh, points I'm gonna get. So I've got a space bar, which means I can use this to create two words and I get an extra cent. And the space bar itself is one cent. Um, plus, I've got the Chinatown connection here. So let's look at the Chinatown connection. A dirty town with dirty criminals and even dirtier cops. Only one unlikely pair could clean it all up. All right. So I don't have three or more wilds in my hand for sure. Uh, so I'm not using my stuck key ability. But let's see. O-N-E-D. Um, Wund. I don't think is a word. Toned is a word. Also stoned is a word. But I wouldn't be using my space bar. So is there a way? Red ton. Red ton. Then I'm using all my letters. Um, T O N E D S. T, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not getting the E anyway. Yeah, let's just do this. So, um, red ton, a ton of red. Um, just then, the coroner uh, gasped as a ton of red shot out from the victim, as a ton of red liquid shot out from the victim. Um, spraying against the wall directly beside him. Um, he turned around uh, to find the victim, the victim thrashing on the examining table. So we've got ton and red. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight cents because we get one extra cent if I create two words with the spacebar. I think that's how it works. Actually, this is in the rules, so let's check that. Uh, spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. If you use it to make two words, you get the combined score of both words plus one for the space. I think I might not get, I think it just gives me one cent. I don't know. You get the combined score of both words plus one for the space. Um, yeah. I think, I think it doesn't give me an extra cent, although it should because I mean, creating two words could be more challenging than creating one word, but it could also be easier. Anyway, there was a ton of red, uh, so we're going to get just seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to go ahead and grab this before it continues to haunt me, plague me, and cause problems for me. Um, this last five cent word here. Um, and then I've got two extra cents. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one-time use two cent card. And that will be that. Um, so Dr. Honeycutt has just witnessed uh, the, bo the body of Bobby, body of Bobby Birdwick, thrashing on the table and spraying a ton of red liquid everywhere. Um, and I think that's where we're going to wrap up for tonight as well. So we will pick up this story next time and hopefully, you know, exciting things will continue to occur. All right. See you there.